Hello everybody and welcome to Pixel Perspectives tutorial on how to clean old video game systems. Now say you go to a Goodwill or a thrift shop or a yard sale and you come across a system that you need and you take a brief look at it and it's disgusting. Now you might at first glance say that's disgusting I don't want it I can't use it but what if the price is just too good to pass up? Well I'm here to tell you today there's always hope. I restore old consoles as a hobby. I've always enjoyed doing it. I've always enjoyed bringing fresh life to an old grimy system. Now today hopefully I can show you how. The things you'll need in this project are toothpicks, which I'm making a mess with, cotton swabs, always helpful, Your generic everyday spray bottle. I have a mix of alcohol and water in here, about two-thirds water and one-third alcohol. Paper towels. Cheap toothbrushes. Of course, you can get a pack of four or five toothbrushes at the dollar store. Sometimes you will need a gum eraser. Don't think we're going to need it today. a non-abrasive towel and last but not least you will need some Novus plastic polish this is the most important thing for restoring old consoles and I'll explain why later I'm going to take an interesting approach to this and I'm only going to clean half of the system so you can see afterwards the difference Gonna use some painter's tape here. Cover up half of it. Now the reason I'm using painter's tape is because it's very easy to remove without leaving sticky residue. Try to do this without looking like a fool. Seems very difficult at the moment. There we go. Alright, now we got half of the system covered. Let's go. The way I like to do this is by taking one of these Q-tips. I use these hard colored to toothpicks because they're very versatile and they last longer. And you'll want to smash in one end on a hard surface. That makes the, the tip not so abrasive and it almost has like a paintbrush effect. You'll want to moisten it, the, the crushed end. And you'll want to start by working on the small details. Any small crevice or groove, you'll want to scrape out the grime first. Now, of course, it's going to make a mess everywhere and not be pretty. But this is essential for getting the system 100% clean. Of course, later, uh, not on this video, I am going to uh, clean the insides of the lid. But since this is just a small video, I'm sure you get the point. I'm going to take the side here. Now, this is a perfect example of why you'd want a toothbrush. The reason I have two, two toothbrushes is because you'll want to have a wet one and a dry one sometimes. For example, like this, you'll always want to use a dry toothbrush on any area that's a vent. Because you do not want to get water inside the console. And you see here I'm just loosening up grime and filth, dust mostly, and all the grooves here. Of course you could always remove the shell of the console and um, clean it thoroughly with soap and water, but you don't always need to do that. Some people might want to do that if they're more comfortable with it. Areas here, some filth in there. Get that little grime out, because when I wet it, I don't want to make some muck in there. That'll be bad for the system, very bad. Now what you want to do is take two regular sized paper towels and fold them in half, and moisten them with your alcohol and water solution 
so that it's damp. You don't want it soaking. And you'll take your novice. And you just want to put a little bit in there. This novice is expensive. Um, you can get a small Coke can size bottle for about eight dollars. But a little, as you'll, you'll see from this video, a little bit goes a very long way, so it's very worth it. Now you want to mash it into the paper towel so it's it's not glop, gloopy. I guess that's the best word I can use for it. And then you're going to want to rub it into the system. Now, the only thing I can say about this is have use caution because if, say, a system has paint details, um, like for example a Sega Genesis, the 16-bit logo, has a silver paint on it, you do not want to use Novus on that silver paint because depending on which model it is, you might wipe that silver paint right off. This is Novus number two. This is the only one you'll want to use on systems. Novus number three is too strong. It'll ruin the plastic and anything else won't do a good enough job. Now, Novus is one of two things. It's a plastic polish. It's a very good cleaning agent. It removes grime and filth. And at the same time, uh, it will also remove very fine scratches if you polish it in well enough. It's one of my favorite products. You want to rub that in really well. Now, I've seen videos on YouTube where people use WD-40 on systems and different kind of abrasive chemicals that might catch fire that just scares the heck out of me this is definitely the the best thing to use and and it's safe for the system it will not hurt harm the system will not degrade the plastic in any way now once you've rubbed in the polish you want to take your towel remember you want a towel that's very non-abrasive especially if you have Consoles that use shiny plastic that will scratch very easily. You don't want uh, to create more of a problem than you're trying to fix. So you want to take your towel, you want to fold it in half, and you're going to want to moisten one end. And this is to clean off the plastic polish I just applied. Rub it in really good. Make sure you don't leave any novice because it does get crusty when it dries. And that would not be pretty at all. Okay, now you're going to want to fold the opposite direction. So you have the dry end and just dry the console off. Now you make sure when you're using the wet side it is not soaking because once again you don't want to get liquid inside the console. Just want to, you know, moisten it and, and clean it and get it nice and clean. Now this top of this unit is actually finished. There are many other consoles that I will try to do cleanings of in the future that are much more difficult to do than a Sony PlayStation 1. But as you'll see when I remove this, the difference is dramatic. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Um, we do have a podcast every two weeks. Uh, we're trying to play with different ideas on what kind of channel we want to do, but we are video game enthusiasts. We love games. We love the old games, uh, new games, news about games. Check us out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.